All right, guys, today we are standing in front of a property that one of our students has under contract. He's a local student, and we love buying deals from one of our students. Love this. So today we're standing in front of 2571 Rhapsody Lane, which is actually located in Florissant, Missouri. This is North County here in St. Louis. And we are gonna do a quick walkthrough of this property to take a look at the condition and determine what the repairs are. And then at the end of the video, we're actually gonna pull comps on batch leads on the mobile device on our phone to determine what the ARV of the property is. And then we're gonna use the MAO formula to figure out what the good, what a good offer would be, and then we're gonna make that offer to our students. Cool. So, so let's right take now, a look. To start, so Derek mm -hmm. told us he thought it was worth 175. I kind of agreed, kind of just quickly looking at comps. Okay. And then he's asking, they said 115, I said I'd be lower than that. And they said, okay, well, what about 107? See if you can make it work. So that's I what I think we're you gonna... offered 100 originally. Exactly. ARV. Or I'm sorry, your RMAO was about 100, give or take. So let's see what it looks like, and then we're gonna pin down what we can actually offer. Let's do it. Let's take a look. All right, cool. Two car garage, I like that. You got a big old tree in the front yard. I don't like that. Don't like that. You don't have any fascia board over here. Or gutters, downspouts, they or ripped gutters, them off. gutters, no soffit, fascia, gutters. And all of the soffit looks like it's it's missing. So some fascia, some gutters, but it's gonna need to be addressed. And you still have a lot of stuff left behind. Is there any creatures in any of these tanks? We didn't see any. No, you looked already? You need a dog kennel? No. <laughs> it's in the garage. This is a nice little house though. I mean, we've got a bay window. So again, it was a- uh, In the front here. Yeah, nice. nice little bay window. You got the two car garage, pretty good. Decent size. Holly asked the same question. I've never seen that before. Yeah, for the HVAC. I wonder if it wasn't one of those weird stoves. Oh, uh, they might have had you know? a stove right there. Yeah, it's like a fireplace kind of sort of thing. Man. Yeah. But I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, weird. Well, let's, let's keep it moving. Let's take a look here. All right. Probably not have any power. There's no power. You'll no see power. why in a minute. All right. So here's our kitchen. Looks like our range would go there and our fridge would go here. Cabinets are pretty, pretty rough. Cabinets are rough, but they got granite. But they so got I... granite, but we could probably salvage the granite. Don't you think? I don't know. It's hard to say. Yeah. You got some, some cracked tile. I mean, it's not terrible though. For a rental, we could probably clean these floors up. You're gonna have to cover them. They're all cracked oh, those real are bad. Cracked over there too. So real yeah, bad. actually, we're gonna have to change the flooring in here. Uh, you have yourself a little office slash den, den, dining room over here. Yeah, it's a dining um, area. And dining. the flooring, unfortunately, is pretty bad. So even the scrapes, I can live with in yeah, a rental. Yeah, but you got gaps. You got gaps bad. everywhere. So like, you might be able to pound it together, but whoever did the uh, flooring install. Yeah, I mean, they're just everywhere. It's, Didn't it's, know what they were doing. So this flooring and that flooring would need to be addressed. Obviously, there's a bunch of little holes in the wall that need to be patched and painted. Windows are old. That door but got terrible. cracked somehow. Yeah, it looks like somebody threw something at it. So you're going to need to replace the glass or just probably cheaper to replace the door. Mm. Uh, over this way. Can't really see. Because two car garage, there's no lights. There's no lights, but we do have a two car garage with individual doors, which is nice. Before we go downstairs, let's check out the rest of the main floor here. So we have our pantry, which is right in the hallway. It's actually in a good spot. I like that pantry. I like, for a small kitchen, I really like the layout. I do too, yeah. I really do too. Um, we have ourselves a closet. Let's see if I can't help with some of the lighting here. Yeah. I'm sorry, bathroom. We're missing a vanity. Toilet is pretty dated. I mean, it definitely needs some work in here. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not terrible and it's a good size bathroom. Let's go to the left first. We got our laundry chute. Uh, this is one of the bedrooms. You got vinyl windows here, but I noticed a wood window in the back, something to be aware of. Don't have any ceiling lights or fans, but they have the, the smoke detector, which I guess is good. And different flooring. You have different flooring in all these rooms so far. Here's another little bedroom. Again, vinyl window, no ceiling fan, but you have a closet. You got a couple holes in the walls. Um, I would imagine this was probably a rental. 
but who knows. Here is the third bedroom with a huge walk-in closet. Check out the size of the closet. That's gonna be a great selling feature uh, with all of that extra space. Yeah, this is gonna get you really high rent or a good yeah. resale value. You got a good, big, big yeah, for master this, bedroom for right this here. I mean, area. this is a big, big yeah. master bedroom. Very generous size for, for this area. The master bath obviously has been ripped up a little bit, so we're gonna need to put that thing back together. But there's a lot of light in here too. You got lots of windows. Very nice uh, master space. Yeah, so you got a, they got a lot of room in here though. Uh, but they definitely ripped it out. I wonder what they were working on back here. Could have been electrical, could have been plumbing. Stack pipe looks like it's in pretty decent shape. All right, let's check out the basement. So yeah, you're definitely gonna need some rehab over here. So three bedroom, two full bath on the main level. And I like the floor plan of this one. It's like nice. They have it's a security different. system at one point. And if we were to peek in the backyard, it looks like there's a shed. Yeah. And it's fenced in, which is nice. Just little, little bonuses, right? Little bonuses. I do also like that there's a two-car garage. Mike, we may need your light too, bud. It's on. All right. All right, so the basement, so it's here's got a the, lot of crap down here. Here's the problem, is somebody ripped out the HVAC work. Uh-oh. So you can see they ripped down the duct work. They started ripping out some of the, the wiring uh, to the house. They got the furnace and the hot water heater missing. Ooh, yeah, this happens when these are vacant. They got, they started ripping out they the panel. They got the water heater and the furnace, didn't they? So our, the panel has been cut. And Look at that. Yeah, so I mean, just a total, total lack of respect for, for everything. For property. Yeah, it's yeah. really, really. All just because somebody wanted that, a right little there. Copper a little wire. Piece of copper wire, which is crazy. So we're gonna have, I mean, what do you think? Probably four to six grand in electrical work. I don't I mean, know, man. So I mean, you're to literally say. gonna have to rewire the whole house, right? Well, not necessarily. These wires can be reused as long as they're not damaged. Yeah. But you're gonna have to put junction boxes in. And I mean, it may be, I don't know. Yeah. It's hard to say. So I mean, a, a typical panel replacement's about two grand, maybe a little bit higher nowadays. Yeah, I mean, I'd say four or five. So though, you're with probably what done. five grand for that HVAC system. Five grand just for regular one, plus the ductwork. Call it another five grand. So you're looking at maybe ten thousand for that. Ooh. To replace the stack pipe doesn't look terrible up here. Little leak though, yeah. But you definitely got some issues going on here. Yeah. So, so just mechanicals, you've probably got twenty thousand plus a roof, probably twenty-five thousand. Yeah, just in the mechanicals over For here. For roof and the mechanicals, meaning like electric, HVAC. So here's your line set that goes to the uh, condensing unit, the condensing coil out, outside. I feel like the condenser was out there. And I thought I saw the condenser out there. We'll have to double check. <laughs> I haven't been back there yet. I think I saw it, but yeah, you're missing all your systems over here though. And Mike, you had said how much you thought for systems? 25. 25 with HVAC, water heater, Electric. electrical panel. Well, who knows what they've done with the plumbing? I mean, yeah, I mean, I just yeah, because because they're going to have to redo all of the duct work. All the exactly. Oh. It's not just a simple HVAC. It's HVAC and yeah, all the Yeah, you're talking 10 or 12,000 for yeah. the HVAC since they ripped all the duct work down and it's going to need to be replaced. You got some of it hanging, but I doubt they'll even want to reuse any of this. Well, stuff. It's, it's, yeah, Probably exactly. just want to replace it I all. mean, it saves them a little bit of material maybe, but it takes them longer to piece everything back together. So. Yeah, yeah, you can see they ripped all of it out, man. Like why? I have no idea, even right here. Yeah, so if it was a for bank foreclosure, maybe they were getting back at the bank. I mean, who knows? Yeah, who knows? It could have been a lot of reasons. All right, let's go let's head back upstairs. Check out the value now. All right, here's a good spot with some light. Come on over. All right, so today we're gonna be using batch leads to run the comps on the property. And with batch leads, you can just type in your property address and it pops right up, which is awesome. Uh, the property overview, it's a three bedroom, two bath, and it's showing that the square footage is only 1,082. 
It seems like a bigger house than it like does. A thousand seem, well, just up here. though, just up maybe to a little over a thousand. Yeah, it seems like a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Um, and it looks like the current owner has owned it for three years and three months. We have an estimated value on here of about 156 and it shows estimated equity of the same. So it doesn't look like they have debt on the property. If we click into comparables, we can see that there are a lot of comparables in here. So what I want to do is I want to go and I want to filter these properties and I want to take the located within down to a quarter mile. And I want to take the sold in down to six months. And I also want to remove the actives and the pendings to just show the sold. So I got sold within six months, within a quarter mile. I'm going to also remove the ignore year built, ignore bedroom and ignore bathroom, just to get the ball rolling here to see what we got. So now, Looks like we have four properties found that are comps that meet that criteria. So you have one on Kingsford that was sold for 160, one on Central Parkway. We own one on Central Parkway for only 90. You got one on Leisure for 163, and then another on Leisure for 116. So these two here are gonna make for good ARV comps. And you got 160 and 160. So I'm not seeing anything above 160 on here. Looks like the past transaction, this thing was sold for 85,000 back in 2017, it's Mike. crazy. Yeah, but that's also four years, almost five, right? Yeah. 18, 19, 20, 21, we're in 22. That's five years ago. So it doesn't really surprise me all that much. And shoot, 85, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they did a lot of the work that we see that looks decent. Like yeah. this flooring probably was nice. You know, 85 plus, they probably spent 10 grand That's on right. It. Your property taxes, it looks like are about $2,200 a year, which doesn't surprise me. And doesn't look like there's a bunch or, or any of the uh, recent MLS. It's Hazelwood School District, um, forced air in, in central cooling, but that's all been ripped out. So, it just kind of depends. The the comps on here are showing about 160. And it's always a good idea just to kind of pull up additional information. So I'm actually gonna go into Zillow mm -hmm. and just see yeah, what the Zestimate out. is, right? And this is 2571, right? 2571 Rhapsody and Florissant. They don't have, actually they do, I'm sorry. Their Zestimate is 169.7. Okay. So roughly 160 to 170 from the hip is kind of where we're at. Now, if we do this house up really nice, are we going to be able to get over those numbers? Maybe, of course. You know, 175 isn't crazy, maybe even higher, maybe 180, right? But if we're doing a rental grade rehab, yeah, and you we're going to probably be closer to that 160 number. Yeah, and we just can't figure the high ARV. You just can't, it's just because there's one sold at 190 doesn't mean we can use that as a comp as Correct. an investor yeah, you or gotta as look the, at the number as an the investor. The averages. You can use it as a comp, but not the number. So yeah, let's use 160, let's back it down. I mean, we've got 25,000 just in systems, uh, plus cosmetics in here. I mean, we need flooring and paint. That's gonna be at least another 10,000, uh, plus the kitchen. I mean, honestly, we probably need to get new cabinets, even if we're trying to save that granite, which is just another fun project. Uh, I mean and appliances. I'm saying another 10 grand for the kitchen. Yeah. And the bathroom. And the ba both bathrooms both are ba There's apart. two bathrooms. And both of them are in disrepair. Yep. Uh, I mean, we're probably looking at 50,000. Yeah, well, I would figure, I would figure 50,000. I mean, it needs everything. It roof needs everything. Roof down. I mean, it's not just like little stuff. I mean, it's like, then that, that door has to be replaced. Yeah. The gutters are missing, the downspouts are missing, the roof, the, yeah, you name it. Yeah, the soffit. So let's call it a $50,000 repair. So Dave, let's back off one, yep. let's use 165. Let's use 165 as our number here. So 165,000. And if we're gonna buy it as a rental, we can pay as high as 0.8 or 80%. Mm -hmm. That takes us down to 132,000. But if we took off the 50,000 in repairs, cause it needs everything. 
not even the basement. You're looking at probably 25 or 30 grand, but then you have a roof, you have all these systems. So it's gonna be every bit of 50,000. So our MAO is actually closer to 82,000, not 100 or 107. From the hip, we thought it would be about 100, but we were also estimating repairs probably closer to around 30, 35. Mm. Yeah, and we may double check comps, see if we can find a couple better ones. Um, I don't know where Batch is pulling from, again, because we're just starting to use that. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll have to figure that out, uh, if those are really good and accurate for us. But mm -hmm. yeah, 80,000 80, is really probably our offer. Yeah, 80,000 is going to be our offer. Sorry, probably. Derek. <laughs> well, hopefully, though, Derek can go back to the seller or whoever he has this under contract with, and maybe he can renegotiate it. Uh, somebody else may pay more than what we're willing to pay. But as you know, landlords who use the Burr method, the goal is always to use little to none of our own money. You know, we don't want to have any money invested in this in the end. And that, when I say in the end, I mean when we go to refinance. So we'll borrow money to purchase, we'll borrow money to rehab, right? But then we also want to over borrow just a little bit to cover the holding costs, the closing costs, and the interest. So whenever we go to refinance, we're not having to bring a bunch of money to the table. And ideally, we don't bring any money to the table. So to do that the right way, we would need to buy this particular property around 80,000, you know, maybe 85 tops, but there's no way we could go to 100 without leaving, you know, 10 or 15,000 in the property. Or more. Or yeah. more. I mean, again, margin for error, 50,000. This is a big rehab. Yeah, I mean, so. it could easily be 60 or 65. Right. You know, after we start diving into things right and i didn't even count oh, we didn't plumbing even stack or work to talk about the trees either we probably trees. Do let's do a quick exterior walk around the outside room room stack yeah the another thing other. i really like about the house guys is it's on a cul-de-sac here yeah and this cul-de-sac is nice people love cul-de-sacs because it provides ample parking it's also safer if you have kids and you want your kids to go outside yeah, and play, play in the yard or even in the street you're not having a bunch of traffic coming through. Like you could put a basketball net up or the kids could come out here and play soccer or hockey or whatever they wanted to do. It's, it's a lot more family friendly being on a cul-de-sac, which I really like. And we're also not on a major street. Um, we're There's in a neighborhood. Of, kind of a busy street over yeah, there. Yeah, but that's over there. Yeah, right? we've got a fenced we're yard. we're in a neighborhood though, right? Yeah. Which is awesome. So can we get in the backyard? Other way. I gotta go this way. Let's check out the backyard and I'm gonna pull up some more comps here. I'm gonna lock up the inside here too go while ahead. we do that. I'll walk around with Holly. Driveway looks like it's in really good shape. Got a couple cracks, but there's not any major offsets, which is nice. And I do like having double garage doors. It um, is really nice for people that, you know, wanna park their car inside or they wanna store things. All right, so now that I take a second look outside here, there is no condenser. The siding's actually in pretty good shape. You need to power wash it. You got some green mold over here. Uh, but right here with this little concrete pad is where your condensing unit would go for your HVAC, right here. And you can see that they cut it and they wanted the, the metals, the, the material that was inside of it um, to, to, to scrap. So we're missing the HVAC entire system here, Mike. Um, again, no soffit underneath. Not a huge deal, but um, you know, it, it is nicer. Careful, it's muddy in the yard back here too. Yeah, it's too. nicer when you definitely have the, uh, the soffit though. Uh, but yeah, the yard is fenced. It looks like all the way around, which is nice. You do have a little shed, and it looks like it might even been a chicken coop there, Mike. That's what I thought. They got a dog door in there. Yeah, so I think there was a coop dog or a dog living the out there. Yeah, yeah, could be. You got a big tree here. You know, where's the electric line? That's cable, right? Over there. Oh, it's coming in on this side. 2571. 2571. Okay, electric's out that way. All right. Yeah, so there's a little mold on the siding. It needs to be power washed. Not a big deal. Look at all this. I guarantee you, occupancy inspector's going to make you clean that up. So we got a ton of yard work. Okay, so when I pull do. up the uh, MLS here, Mike, yeah. for the other comps, I'm seeing. 
Hey, this is actually kind of a neat thing too. So off this road, you got a little parking pad. Oh yeah, that is kind of nice. So a little busy road, but you could uh, store a you know a little boat or something. A boat, or, uh, a work truck, small extra RV, car, yeah. car. You got a double gate right there, which yeah. is nice. So looking at some of these other comps here, you know, you got, got a little way from the road noise. You got 155, 166, 163. You got 159. You got a bunch of other comps, but. Center mass all, is around 160. Center mass is around 160, yeah. 165. So I don't think we could push the ARV up to 175 on this one, unfortunately. Um, but I'm glad that we came out to look at it, though. And our offer to Derek, our student, will be, what do you think, 80? Yeah, we'll do 85 because he's a student. Yeah, we'll I mean, go that, up to but 85, that's the best we can but do. that's the best we can do yeah. because, again, if we pay more, we can't reduce the cost of the rehab. That's one thing that we really don't have a whole lot of control on. And we used to try to, you know? Yeah, I mean, we, we we'll just obviously can't. try to do what we can, but at the end of the day, you still have to get an occupancy inspection passed, which means that you're gonna have to have an inspector come out, and that inspector is gonna flag things that are, that are not safe or are like a nuisance. Like that giant pile of like sticks. Like that giant pile of sticks right there. They're gonna say, no, we're not giving you the occupancy, you need to clean it up. If there's anything along the fence line, which it doesn't look like on this side, but on that side, they may want us to clean the fence line up. They're gonna want us to power wash. They're gonna want to have all those systems. What a great house for kids. Look, there's a nice big yard too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool, so, so this is all, it. Yeah, all in all, this is a good property. We would love to buy it, but we can't overpay for it. So check out, was it batchleads.io? Yeah, batchleads.io forward slash Dave to, uh, to use the copying tool. They also have tons of other tools over there, like for SMS, direct mail, list stacking, um, all types of great stuff. Check it out, batchleads.io forward slash Dave. You can run comps on the fly like we just did in this video to help you determine what the ARV of your property is. So you can get out there and make offers. That's right. Thanks for watching, guys.